Hi everybody! Today we're looking at the eLEDlights.com LED upgrade kit for existing Trofer lights. The upgrade kit comes with 10 white plastic diffusers and 40 LED bulbs. The bulbs are premium LED, 4 foot frosted at a 6,000 degree color temperature. The white plastic diffusers are 46 and a half inches long and 26 and a half inches wide. Upon opening the box, we can see each light bulb is packed in an individual tube. Here's a close up of the tube end. You can see it's a white plastic frosted tube. Looking at the back side, we can see the entire tube is extruded aluminum backing for stiffness. Each bulb also comes with wiring instructions. We're getting ready to install this unit in a Topher light fixture. Here's the light fixture we have. This is one's got a bit of a twist because it can be dimmed to where just one bulb comes on, off, or two bulbs, or three bulbs. So this may have some uh, tricky wiring here. We'll find out. But here's a, a general idea of what the ambient light looks like. Kind of look around a, a typical office environment. Uh, the white light, it's a fluorescent. And I've always, now that I've discovered LED bulbs, I find the fluorescent lights kind of dingy. And that'll be the best improvement in having this LED light. Typically, to open the light fixture, you pull down some sort of a tab that locks in there. And here we have our light fixture. You can see the three bulbs. And if you notice to the left, there's a ridge that has tabs. Get a close up of that, those tabs there. So anyway, uh, you can even see like a little yellow wire sticking out there. So that's where all the electronics is. Okay, I opened the electronics and here's what we have for the wiring. You can see we have one ballast for just the single center light and another ballast for the two outer lights. And uh, there's three wires coming in. There's a neutral that connects to all of them. There's a brown wire that connects to the, the single wire, which goes to that black wire there. And then on, on this other plug right here, uh, it goes to the, uh, the dual uh, ballast. So anyway, uh, let's look at this a little bit more. These light bulbs are of a style to where they're fed from one end. So there's a live end and there's a dead end. And you can see we wire up the line and the neutral on one end. If we look at the wiring instructions in the final step eight, we can see the line and the neutral, and the line goes to one pin, and the neutral goes to the other pin of both lights. And that's what we're gonna be doing. Here's the data sheet for the ballast. And you can see it's got a black and a white wire where the line comes in. And then going to the bulb, you have two red wires, one going to each side of the lamp, and two blue wires, one going to each side of the lamp. So in order to wire up the LED bulbs, we need to disconnect uh, the black and the white wire, and then we hook up the black and white wire to either each of these red wires or each of these blue wires. So the whole point is, is on one side of the lamp, wherever it's physically convenient for us, we'll have it to where the line, you know, the, the black and the white will eventually, from our, our line, will eventually go to one side of the lamp. Here's the Sylvania data sheet for the dual bulb. As you can see, it's got a black and a white where the line comes in. We need to disconnect that because we don't want any power going to the, to the, the ballast. And then uh, we have two yellow wires and they go to e each side of the, the lamp. So, uh, and then on the, the other end, we got the, uh, uh, two reds going to one lamp and two blues going to another lamp. So uh, we could either, depending upon which, which is uh, easier for us as far as uh, the routing the wires go, uh, we could either have the, the white and the black going to these two yellow wires, and that would work fine. That would give us the 110 volts across this lamp, 110 volts across this lamp, or we could have a, a, a red and a blue together to, to maybe black, and then a red and blue together to the white. And that way we get 110 volts across here and then 110 volts across here. And that would work depending upon how we physically want to wire up this bulb. Okay, you can see I cut the 
white and the black wire, and the two red wires. Hook the white up to one red, hook the black up to the red. And let's take a look at how nice these things look. By the way, I always take a, a permit marker and write down LED only because you cannot put fluorescent bulbs back in this fixture. But look at how much brighter these things are. I mean, look at the tremendous, there's probably more than double, maybe even triple. And this is like some sort of nauseating pink color looking at it, where this is a beautiful bright white. So uh, anyway, I can't wait to wire up the other one. A little uh, distance here so you can see a little better. I mean, this is really an amazing difference in color. A beautiful, crisp, rich white versus some sort of an awful, dingy kind of a white. And that's the main reason I've, I've done this. You have to spend a lot of time in your office, and it's sure nice to have some beautiful looking light. And for the dual fixture, we got the black wire hooked up to one red and blue. We got the white wire hooked up to one red and blue. And everything's up and going. Let's wrap everything up and maybe look at the diffuser next. Here we are with the, the old diffuser, and I must say it looks awfully good. Um, this building is probably eight years old, maybe 10 years old the most, so it hasn't turned old and yellowed or anything like that. You can see how beautiful the light is, how much, I mean, there's more than twice, I would say triple the light, what we had before, and it's a much more pleasing light. But we do have this uh, new diffuser, and it'll only take a few uh, little screws to put that in. I measured it, and it's exactly the right size. Well, here we are. This is the new diffuser. You notice there's no shadows. Every Look at how even the light is throughout here. You, there's no, sh there's, uh, no sh harsh shadows, no areas of bright light versus dim light, and everything looks very, very even. Uh, you can look at the floor. The light is, is completely even all throughout the floor. And it, it reminds me of walking in like a skylight. The color temperature seems to really match like the outside light. If there was a, an actual skylight in the ceiling with the uh, natural light coming in, this is kind of what it would look like. And I'm really going to enjoy working in here now.